We're into round one, heat number two now. If you watch the last matchup, Kalanen ended up just short in taking the big win. It was Itzilo Ferreira moving straight into round three. Now this one on paper features Julian Wilson, a former pipe master, Michelle Berez, formerly dominant in the Triple Crown of Surfing with a big win at Holly Eva. Adam Melling, the guy who always keeps delivering, surfing in multiple major events around the world. Stay is probably the most active out of anyone in a jersey, does every major qualifying series event and backs himself up on the championship tour, representing a place called Lennox Head. Not a bad place of this lucky country to come from. Wow, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful place. <clears throat> Great waves, uh, obviously. Um, and you can tell by the way he surfs. You know, you look at his good results. J-Bay, obviously one of those uh, standout results for him. Here he goes now, super light on his feet, yet very powerful. You know, you talk about the Spartan. This guy's not, not far from him. Super strong kid. Really goes for it, too. Like, this, he's not scared at all when there's waves of consequence. He's one of the first to swing and go. Any wave that comes, he has undisputed right of way. We've seen some interesting scenarios, especially when the three-man heats really got underway, just on some interesting interference calls. We'll get back to that with Michelle Berez already getting away. Yeah, Michelle Berez. You know, it looks to me like he's trimmed down a little bit. He looks a lot lighter on his feet, been watching him surf the last few days. He hasn't lost any power though, that's the good thing. A couple of big turns right there, manhandles that last section. I love that speed float transition maneuver that he did right there in the beginning of that wave. Just pedal to the metal and that's what's so entertaining watching Michel Berez surf. Michel Berez got himself in a world title race back in 2014 where he took his first ever wins in his career at the CT format. Owen Wright obviously made history by having two perfect heats and one in the final. But Wilson was the next best guy in that contest as we look on. You see the little waves right out in front. Big roundhouse cutback to start for the Tahitian, Michelle Berez. We'll get down the line and blow the fins out on the next section. Whitewater comes down, vertical climb, and he'll step off. Perez open with a 4-5, and that wave will help out his lead. Or should we keep surfing? The very next wave, Michelle took off and broke his hand. His back got adjusted in the wrong way, and he had to sit out. And he wasn't able to return as defending champ to Rio de Janeiro. So hang on, let me get that right. They're both talking about how dangerous it's getting, yet Michelle swings and goes on one of the heaviest waves of the day. I mean, that, that's crazy stuff. Yeah, unbelievable. But he's such a warrior. He was back doctor's orders was he couldn't do anything that's impossible for a guy like <laughs> michelle just to sit there yeah. but great to see him back in form already with the lead out front as remember we do have strider in the water uh, strider anything interesting that you're noticing about the positioning at this stage uh yeah definitely you know down the end here you're seeing a lot of wide waves you got julian up live right here coming down the line you see how the wave kind of seems like it's backing off through that section. And then it hits the little marley in here, and it kind of regrows. And these wide ones that have been swinging up wide and kind of uh, out of their view. So, yeah, Strider, you're absolutely right. There are those little growers coming through on that inside section. Well, Strider, we're watching Michelle Berez on screen. What did you see from his last attack on the open face? I just really like the... Um, the, the, you know, through the roof. He throws the tail out right here. He comes off the bottom, bang! You can see the fins looking at that when you're looking in. Right here again, boom! I saw the, the board, the fins and everything. So I really like that straight up into the bowl surfing. Sort of interesting pots as we've been watching Michelle for a long time. You, you know he's from Tahiti. You start thinking of venues automatically just knowing where he's from. You think of Chopu, you think of cloud break and pipe as places where he'd excel, which he has had those results. His wins came in open face hooks, Rio de Janeiro, big facey waves where he gets to showcase the carve. Where do you think his strength is or has he evened it out at this point in his career? I think he's evening it out. I think his backhand a little bit stronger than his front side. I think his results have come on his backhand. Uh, apart from Margaret River, that's it, that is. He's getting through a couple of messy sections to start is Adam Melling. Little jam out front, trying to create a moment for himself on this inside track that Strider is picking out. Carved to snap off the lip. There's that body wrap torque off the top. Little layback chip to finish, and Melling's out. So Melling started with that 267 early. Nice and easy pace. The wave didn't really try to help him out too much, Butts. No, but that's it. You know, you've got to you've got to surf the wave at the pace it allows you to. You know, if you try and oversurf a wave like this, it's not going to work. This is Wilson up and out. 19.40 to go on the second heat of the season. Back-to-back -back wins like, uh, you know, you, you need when you win a world title. 
As we go back to the start of Melling's wave, we'll see what he did out the back here, Potts. You know, not forcing the issue, which I really enjoyed this wave. He just waited for the opportunity to arise and then capitalized. You can see him just biding his time and then uh, opened with some big turns. Coming back from that replay into live action from Michelle Perez. He's got a little coping to carve off the top. Blew his tail out the back. He's already with a lot of variety. He'll just throw one up vertical in a soft part of the wave and he'll be forced to kick out. Ember Perez had the 4-5 early, 3-6-7. Still smaller scores really trying to grow here with round one heat number two. We'll bring you replays in a moment because we have Italo Ferrer standing by with Rosie Hodge. And you're such a cool cat and McFanning actually picked you as a dark horse for the world title this year. What are your goals? Are you going for the world title in 2016? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I just um, do my job and the other events and then, um, yeah, I don't have a pressure. I just surfing and enjoy and just having fun. <laughs> well, it's, it's always great to catch up with you. Back up to you, Joe. Thanks a lot, Rosie. I think that whole call is uh, going for a world title. Doesn't sound as crazy anymore because Felipe Toledo said the big statement last season, I'm going for a world title. And he said that at Snapper before he had won. But we realized before that he had never won a championship tour event. That's how confident Toledo was. Are you seeing the same confidence coming from Italo Ferreira? Absolutely. Uh, you know, and he kind of diverted the, the, the question there by saying, you know, I'm not going to put pressure on myself. I'm just going to do my job and have fun. You know, name one guy on the tour that doesn't go, is, is not going for the world title. I think that's why they're all here. Take on the Brazilian Storm. We've had two consecutive world champs, Medina de Souza. Will that theme remain the same this year, Butts? Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a long-running storm, hasn't it? <laughs> it's just never going to quit. As we look at this one, this is Michelle Perez. Roundhouse now getting a lot of speed. Big drive into the end section. He's down. Perez still out front, but he'll be counting a 4-5 and a 4-4-3. Still plenty of room to open up this seat. The first heat was won by last year's Rookie of the Year, Italo Ferreira. The second heat led by Michelle Perez representing Tahiti. Adam Melling, Julian Wilson looking for that first place position to go straight into round three. Coming back from break, we saw Julian just take a quick wave. He was sitting with priority forever to one of his best friends, Mick Fanning, in a heavy final when he was scared out of his mind, but acted on bravery, charging in Fiji. That's now one of his pet events, making the final series, and also going for blow for blow in dreamy conditions coming in Europe. As he'll let this one run through. I mean, Julian needs a 6.60. That's You can get that in his sleep, really. <laughs> um, Let's have a look at Julian right now. Just a little chip shot in here. This is Michelle Perez on his front side. Nice wrap around Cuddy. Trying to extend his lead, Joe. And that's not going to do it for him. So Perez kicks out. I'll tell you what, he's looking good as well. It's interesting, this first round, first day of surfing here in 2016, you really get to see who's done all the hard work in the off season. We'll catch up to Wilson down the line, putting a few solid turns together. Punches out the end section with a nice vertical climb, and he's out. So Wilson now feeling the sense of urgency with 5.50 remaining. A couple of waves to get caught up on, and we'll see if he'll come closer. Well, like I said, he only needs a 6.60. You know, Julian's uh, definitely capable of big things. Let's have a look at this wave here. Nice opening turn right there. Nice low center of gravity. Beautiful positioning on this one. You can see his foot right back on the pad, up and over the white water right there. So a couple of quick turns from Julian and gets out. You know, it's not necessarily the length of ride that pays big dividends out here at Snapper. It's what you do in that short space. So Julian did smash a couple of big turns. It's interesting to see where the judges will go with that. Nice and clean and in transition was Wilson on the last as we see the full wrap from Melling now. Climbs over the white water, right into a bottom turn and a layback hack to finish. Still has some speed to burn. He'll throw it in the white water one more time. Now we hit the five into warning of heat number two. Wilson will be improving along with Adam Melling. So not a whole lot. Michelle's not going to waste any time with priority. Big open face wall. Jams a big first turn right into a float. Has more speed to set the rail for a full roundhouse cutback. Drills the rebound and now floating down the line. He's got a big section to rip off the top. Blows the tail out. Heating up down the line one more time. The Spartan hangs on to a big finishing move and he loves it. Yeah, Michel Perez, he needs to, uh, he needs a 4.44 to better his situation. I think he's done that. I like the way he took his time with that wave. You know, Michel Perez can sometimes 
almost try too hard. You know, we always like the fact that Michel Berez gives 110% every time he takes off on a wave, but that, at that occasion, he kind of waited for it, let the wave stand up, and then reacted. What a great wave and a great opportunity to have with priority, and Michel knew it as soon as he got to his feet that he picked off a gem. Good thing for Michel, he'd already had the lead. He let Melling and Wilson contest, says we'll check out Michelle's from start to finish. You know, you said he doesn't uh, take long with priority. Beautiful opening maneuver there, nice transition as well. I love this old school wraparound cutty. I love those big wraparound cutbacks from Michelle. And this wave kind of helped him out right here. It stood back up again, gave him some more open face. And Michelle Perez, you can see, just waiting for it, waiting for it, and now unleashes the turn. So good timing there, right there. Good wave knowledge from Michelle Perez on a very tricky little section. See that open face? See, this is, there's not a lot of these looking waves out there, and this is what's going to make the difference between a good score and a great score. Michelle Perez there just throwing spray up into the heavens. Nice, powerful surfing from him, setting that rail again, mid-face, bottom turn, timing that absolutely perfect right there. You can see there's no sense of urgency with him, taking his time, and that's what you've got to do out here at Snapper. Just love how he picked his turns on that wave pod, waiting for the numbers. Mellon got a 4.87 on his last, which got him the lead for a moment. Numbers dropping in for Michelle. It's a 7.0, one of the best numbers of the day so far. He's right back in the lead. Now Wilson needs a 7.77. Last year we were starting to make early statements about Toledo being the best performance surfer in the world. He came close to a world title last season, and he is coming up next. We're running out of time in heat number two, around one. Scores in favor of Michelle Berez on 11.5 total, courtesy a big seven-point ride at the end. Melling and Wilson will have to deal with round two pots.